doing the video. Okay, a simple two-story building, okay, resting on the ground. Okay. Now, when the building experiences an earthquake, first of all, especially here in Kitapawan, I, I believe that you have experienced vertical component of the earthquake. Okay. So, you will sense that you're being dribbled. So, what happens on the building when the earthquake goes up and down? Okay. Up and down. So what happens now is if we have a load here, the vertical components of the building is the weight, whatever weight you have here, may tao dyan or mga gamit dyan, all the weights there will be multiplied further. Okay, it will increase its percentage. So whether it's in the second floor or in the roof, okay, roof din ha? Okay, if you have those roof there, because of that, Okay, all these loads will be multiplied. So if you have a heavy load on the second floor of the roof, so ganun yung mangyayari. And what is the component of the building that is carrying this vertical load? It is the frame, which is a combination of the beams, okay, those horizontal components and the vertical components. So ito yun. So if they are poorly constructed, they are not designed accordingly, this will experience cracks, okay? And the columns will experience cracks at the same time. Now, what complicates further is because earthquake is to be experienced by all, okay, sa maabot sa earthquake, there will again be a horizontal back and forth movement of the earthquake. So, it will now experience lateral movement. Okay, now the building... Kung ang earthquake lang sana, if we will say, oh earthquake, stop, vertical ka lang. <laughs> <laughs> Tama kayo ito. <laughs> okay. okay, if the earthquake will just be vertical only, that is even okay. Because vertical, siguro maglilipara na yung mga gamit mo and the columns. Okay, I'm saying that if the building is normally constructed, the building is uh, strong in compression, the columns, without swaying, okay lang sana yan. Pag nag-lingle, nag vertical up and down na. Okay, para lang tayo nag-cheering nag na doon. Ra, ra, ra. Sis, boom ba? Go, go, go. Yung vertical lang. Ha? Yan sa mga stadium, sa mga basketball courts, okay lang yun. Walang problema. Pero, we cannot say the earthquake to stop. Sasabi niya, oh, meron pa akong dudugtong dyan. I will shake you laterally, horizontally. And that is where the danger is. It's the lateral movement of the ground. So what happens to the building pag nag-lateral siya? May red ka. Red pen? Okay. Anyway, kung walang red pen, mas makapal ko. Para i-sober in post ko. Okay. Kasi di mo. There's a red no better. So, so what happens when there's a lateral swaying? Now imagine this structure has weight at every level. So what happens is this is fixed. So when the ground moves, okay, because of the weight of the structure, there is what we call an inertia. So I believe everyone has ridden a car or a jeep or a bus. So, so sabi pa ni Newton, an object remains stationary unless a force is applied. Okay? And when a force or when an object is moving, the, the object will continue to move un until you stop it. Diba? Ganun yun. So, when the ground moves here, this components here will be left from its stationary position. Okay? So, for example, we'll simplify this into a lollipop. Yan, para hindi naman tayo masyadong kakapahan. Okay? Lollipop na dalawang level. Okay? The weight of this level and the weight of that level, so we'll just call this weight 2 and weight 1. So weight 1 and weight 2. Now when the ground moves here, okay, when the ground moves here, so the ground will move and if there is a weight here, mauuna itong poste. Okay? Maiiwan yan siya. And then it will try now to pull this weight. Susunod siya, then susunod yun. So, 
parang sasakyan ba na you are resting there and then you suddenly accelerate, you feel the chair tama? Will, will push you in front. Kasi yung weight mo naiiwan. And then when you put a brake on your car, okay, the car will stop but your weight will continue to move forward. So do you do you am I getting through you? Yes. Yes. Uh, so ganun yun, ano? So ganun yung nangyayari as the as the ground moves back and forth, the weight will remain where it is. And because it remains where it is, the only component that will be resisting that back and forth movement is the columns. Yan. Okay, generally it's the columns and then it will be supported or it will be complemented by the beams. So, yung matibay na poste, kahit hindi kasing tibay, yung beams, if you have a very strong column, then it will resist the swaying. So, you imagine me as the column. Kumabigat yung aking upper body. Kasi medyo overweight ako. So, pag magmubak ang lupa dito, may iwan yung upper part ko. Pag nagmubak mo sa kabila, may iwan yung, yung upper part ko. So, the only thing that is resisting that are my legs. So, kung mabagal, mahina yung legs ko, luluhod na lang bigla, bigla yung aking legs. So, okay ba yun? So, when we understand that principle. Now, let's apply that to the damage it will create to the structure. Now, let's go here. If this column... Okay, this now building, this structure will move in that direction, maiiwan to siya. Okay, let's just say nag-move na to. Okay, gaganon yan. This is now the deformed shape of the building. So, I just overlay it, no? So, that distance na minove niya, Okay, that, okay, pareho lang yan. That distance, delta, or the triangle delta, pag nag-move yan siya doon, naiwan yung sa taas, these joints, eto sila, will be highly stressed. So if it is now overloaded, beyond the capacity of these columns, and the most stressed part of a building is the ground floor. And you have seen yung Eva Hotel, ground floor yung bumagsa. Now, if you've seen in Facebook, yung Ecoland 4000, ground floor din yung bumagsa. Okay, then there is now a ripple effect at the top as it, as it falls down. I was in Corjeso Digos yesterday, so that's my third uh, visit already. So the first time we visited, we already saw a telltale sign of the cracks in this column after the October 16. Then on the October 29th, after that, my engineer... May red dyan, ma'am? Ah, okay. Sige, okay lang. Blue, ma'am. Blue. Wala lang. Black lang. Wala. Isang kulay lang. Okay. So, when when we saw those telltale signs, it now gives us an idea if there is an aftershock, this will explode. True enough, after November 29, that location there, those points there, exploded. And then I told them, again, if we will not retrofit this immediately, the next thing that will happen is this will fall down. Lulukot na ito. So true enough, on October 31, one of the buildings there. So it's really the same thing. Now we engineers and medio engineers, we can already see, no? we can already see if these things are present already, this will guide us to make a decision. So okay na ba to? ito sa na idea. So we'll now go to the cracks. So when we will do an inspection to answer level one, two, and three, we have to see this lower stories always. Okay? So we'll not talk about how to do the inspection. We'll, we'll go into that later on. But when we go there, when we inspect those buildings, we have to see. Dapat makita natin yung ground floors. Like for example, this is I think one story lang naman ito. No? So if assuming there is another floor on top, okay? when we inspect the beams 
on the columns, ground floor lang muna. So now let's explode this. Palalakihin natin yan. Or for example, let's now make the building bigger. Okay. When we do the inspection, so let's just say, let's look at that. Ano yung titignan natin? And again, no? Any signs of distress or cracks, they come in couples. Meaning, they're always in pairs. Okay? Magkapares yan. Minsan, our eyes will deceive us. At dito lang may damage. Now, if we try to look at this building, itong building na to, example, but let's not pray na magkukulap siya. For example, merong crack doon sa taas. Ah, meron kami crack na nakita doon. Almost often, it is always paired with a crack on the other side. If there is a crack on that side, almost often, the crack is also present on the other side. So, pag sinabi mo na, pag ganun ang lindol mo, because earthquake will always move in two directions, or even in the opposite direction, the cracks will always be in pairs. Kung merong crack doon, may crack sa taas yan. Kung may crack doon sa baba, may crack din doon. Although with varying uh, degrees, but they are always in pairs. So, God has created us to be in pairs always. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, magparis yun na, magtiayon yun na, permit. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Oh, okay. Mga, ano lang tayo, para ma-encourage tayo na God is really with us. No? Okay. So, next, titingnan natin ngayon dito. If we are now looking at a close-up view of that section, Okay. So, for example, the deploy, we inspect. Ayan. Kakapalan ko lang ha, para makita nung nag-FB kasi nung baka nag-FB, hindi nila makita yung mga tinutrowing ko. Okay. Okay. 